Good morning, it's day nine of Emotional Evolution and on my mind this morning as I'm going for my run in the beautiful Brush Cutters Bay and my friend the tree here, I've been thinking about motive. <clears throat> Yesterday I had a conversation with someone and he said to me, people tell me I'm selfish, how do I know that it's selfish and not um, self-caring was the words I used. but. How do we know if people are telling us we're just being selfish by looking after our well-being? And my simple answer to that is motive. So I find that motive is something that the more emotionally involved you become, the more aware you are of motive, both yourselves and other people. So people can show up and they can be beautiful people, very kind, but you feel their motive and you know that their motive is not aligned to their actions same with yourself like we can do a lot of things from a motive that's unhealthy and it's not that we're bad people it's just that we've developed certain strategies to get our emotional needs met and we use them unconsciously sometimes so i investigate my motive quite often when i'm feeling something the feelings generally tend to give things away for me and if you look at your motive you might find that for example, you might be really wanting to help someone out. You might have this passion for helping this person out. Really, the motive is because you want to be needed. You might feel like, oh, I'm better than them because I've got my shit together and I'm not as messed up as them. There may be those sorts of motives, or it actually could just be because you have this, and I mean, even with those motives, you still sincerely want to help that person. But it's being really, really discerning on what your motive is because when we create action from unhealthy motive it doesn't serve us or them for example if i'm helping somebody because i want to fix them and i want to rescue them what will happen is i will resent them eventually because i'm abandoning myself to do so they may even persecute me because i start to resent them they persecute me then i become the victim and we just go round and round in a cycle of unhealthy dynamics so motive is incredibly important start to look at, look for it because it's all about our motive and the better we know ourselves the more we come into our own center and and can just be who we are in each moment we do things from a place of flow it just happens it just happens that we take action it just happens that we're there and we know how to support that person we support people without abandoning ourselves so looking for motive is really really important it's such a great key and i've been told i have to have a call to action when i do my marketing videos not that this is a marketing video but i was just thinking to myself yeah right i'm going to use a call to action but i'm going to use a call to action not for me i'm going to use a call to action for you so that you start to pay attention to your feelings i'm going to call you to do that today pay attention to your feelings and question your motives have a beautiful day i'm sending you love